Hello Scorpio and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. What's going on with them? Oh boy, they're having a rough day. I feel like they can't take something anymore. They can't handle it anymore. Oh, they can't handle whoever they chose over you. Um, this Queen of Wands, she's keeping this person very burdened. Um, like, um, anytime they want to do something, she lays a bunch of stuff like a huge long to-do list on them. Or she's making them work overtime. Or um, I just feel like this person can't handle it. This karmic is, I feel, very, very toxic. Okay? Um, they, and this masculine hates coming home to her because all they do is fight. And I feel like the fights are explosive. This could be, um, this Queen of Wands, I feel she's a karmic, okay? She's definitely attached to toxic energy. She could even have some kind of toxic um, attachment, maybe even a demonic attachment, okay? And um, every time this person comes home from work, it's just a big, huge fight. It's a fight, okay? They may even be getting kicked out of their home. She could have she could kick them out of their home if she if they don't do what she says. If this masculine doesn't do everything that this Queen of Wands says, um, I feel like she kicks them out, tells them to sleep in the car, something like that. This masculine is feeling like such a fool. Forever getting with this person. This um this Queen of Wands could have some kind of mental instability as well. Yeah, they're heartbroken. I feel like um, I feel like they're stuck. There's secrets here. Um, there are some secrets that this karmic could be holding over this masculine's head. Okay, um, they 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 could be getting betrayed, cheated on. I feel like this karmic is like she's doing whatever she wants to do and holding something over this masculine's head to keep them where they are. Like she is, she's a savage. I'm telling you, she is. She's being a, she's being a monster to this person. And they're realizing that they got with a monster. They got with the devil in disguise. Oh, yes, she is the devil in disguise. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, and I feel like now this person, um, this masculine is getting possibly pressured by this karmic to get married. Like she wants to get married or she wants some kind of commitment from them and they want out. They literally cannot stand her anymore. Um, and they hate going home. Okay. Yeah, look, I feel like this is her energy. And if, it's almost like um, if they don't marry her, she's telling them, if you don't marry me, this is getting married. Okay, this is getting into a commitment. And I feel like it, it, she also wants this person's money. But if they don't marry her, she's going to three of swords them. And she's going to talk. She's like, look, I know a lot. And I'm ready to talk whenever you, you know, if you are going to leave me behind and not marry me, I'm going to, I'm going to betray you. I'm going to take all of your secrets and I'm going to expose them all. Okay. I'm going to betray you. Right. That's this three of swords. She may even be cheating on this person and she could be very open about it. And they're stuck because I feel like she knows something. She knows a secret and she's about to talk. She's holding it over this person's head. What is this secret? Oh, it's got something to do with you. She could be threatening you or she could be threatening to tell you this secret. So this is something that this masculine does not want you to know. Okay. They could have a like a flaming STD. That could be part of it. They could. They could have this burning STD. She could have given them the STD um, because of the cheating. Okay? I feel like she's promiscuous. She's going to 
chase after whatever she wants. And she, it's like she doesn't care, though. She doesn't care. She's kind of like, no, you're not going anywhere. You're going to actually marry me. And if you don't, if you don't, I'm going to expose your secret. And I'm going to tell um, your secret to the Divine Feminine. Okay? Ah. This could also have something to do with your kids. If you have children together... She wants to expose your secrets to, um, to you and possibly your children, or she, you know, I just feel like she's, she's wanting some kind of revenge. She's going to keep this person stuck. She wants to marry them or she wants them to marry her, but she doesn't love them. There's no love here. There's no love. Okay. Mm-mm. There's secrets, there's STDs, there's um, ultimatums, there's threats, but there's no love. This masculine is in so much, they're, they're, I feel like they're in a lot of regret. Yeah, it's all the truth. And she will expose whatever this masculine is trying to hide from you. She, she'll bring it directly to you, collective. Okay. I, I kind of get the sense that, um, and she also has an, she's also having an affair. I saw the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. She's very open about it. Okay, this masculine, they want to come towards you, but I, I feel like this person is thinking they may have to just um, keep walking away from you here. Like, they, they, they want to come in and apologize, but they, I get the sense they feel very stuck. They want to get out of that situation with the karmic. The karmic is dangling this thing over his head um, or this masculine's head, right? Yeah, I'm getting the sense that this masculine is thinking, you know, at this point with the threats and the, they don't, they do not want you to find out the truth. If they come towards you, towards you with this apology, she's going to tell you everything, all of their secrets. I don't know what this person's trying to cover up, but they are stressed out. They're scared that you will find out this truth. Okay, what is she hiding? Or what is this masculine hiding? What is this karmic threatening to expose? The truth, justice, something that could possibly send them to jail. Okay, so this could be something illegal. Could have something to do with, um, why am I get the, I'm hearing something like saying too much. I don't know. I feel like it could have something to do with drinking, maybe an addiction, maybe third parties, things that they've done. I feel like it's things that they've done. They've done too much or somebody could be saying too much. Okay. These are things, look, they don't want you to know what they've been doing. They don't. This is somebody wanting to hold this close to their chest. They do not want you to know. Okay? Um, it could have been something for money. Somebody could have been doing some lustful things for money. Okay? And gotten some kind of, like, STD or something. Yeah, I feel like it may have been something that they had to do for work. Something that maybe the, even the karmic said, you don't have enough money, you got to do this. Is this person like being an escort or something? They're doing something, maybe even something lustful or sexual for money. I don't know what this is. Yeah, I feel like they're kind of fighting not to get that information to you. That's, that's exactly what I felt like. This person, they would rather stay with the karmic 
and do what they're doing and be in misery than to have you find this out. Whatever this is, they do not want you to find out. And I, I have a feeling it was something they did for money, something that maybe the karmic pressured them into doing for money, something that they're embarrassed and very ashamed of. Um... Could be sexual, right? Yeah, because you know what? You you would never, ever put up with it. Okay, you would, I feel like this is something that would disgust you. Okay, as an earth angel, and a, a, you're a light worker, an earth angel. I feel like it's like, oh, it's so wrong. Okay, maybe that's why I keep hearing somebody's saying too much maybe it's just too much information this is something you don't want to know maybe this is something you don't want to hear you know i'm kind of getting the sense i saw the chariot on the bottom of the deck i feel like this person they don't want you to know this um they're watching you move on I feel, yeah, they want to keep this a secret. They do not want you to hear whatever this is. And I feel like they're going to be watching you move forward. They're thinking that, um, I mean, they want to apologize, but. The, and Spirit's like, what are you going to do? Dude, what are you going to do? Because they want to come and apologize, but they know if they come towards you, their secret will be exposed and they want they feel like they need to protect the secret okay so spirits got them i feel like this person's just very trapped they do this is it does feel like they're kind of trapped like they don't know what to do here i feel like meanwhile spirit is kind of saying everything needs to come out in the open everything needs to be exposed Okay, everything needs to be exposed. You'll get through it, you know. You'll heal, but you they're not going to heal in this environment. Okay? It, it, it she's the karmic is seriously like threatening this person. They uh, making them stay and now she wants them to get married. Okay? I feel like this door is closing on this connection. Um, Spirit's making a judgment call here too, you know. If this person doesn't do the right thing, if they don't confess, if they don't tell people how they feel, if they're not going to tell the truth, the door is going to shut, right? I feel like that's what's happening here. The door is kind of like slowly shutting. This is kind of like a going, going, gone, going, going, gone, masculine. Okay, and that door closes and somebody new comes in for an earth angel. So I feel like this is someone new coming in towards an empress. Yep, you've completed a cycle. You're ready. You're ready to move forward. You've healed. You're very balanced in your emotions. You're not feeling emotional. Okay, you're thinking very logically for yourself. You have learned every queen in the deck. You are ready to close this cycle and start a new cycle for yourself. And I feel like Spirit has seen all your effort and they're celebrating you on the 5D. You're being put on a pedestal here. You could, um, you could have your own platform. You could have a business online. You could have a website, a blog, a vlog, a YouTube channel. Um... I feel like it's it's becoming a, a huge success, or it will. This could very well be part of your calling. The world card to me is like a destiny card. Okay, yeah, you're working on a, on a project, something that you could be doing online. You could have just started this. I feel like you're nurturing this into a success. This could very well grow into a fortune, making you a fortune, whatever this is. Okay, you could be a Virgo, you could be, um, you could be a Taurus, you could be a, a Sagittarius, Aries, Aquarius. 
Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe. This person from your past, they could be um, a Virgo, an Aries, a Pisces, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. They could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Yeah, they don't want you to know the secret, and I feel like this person... They would rather, I feel like they would rather, at, you know what, they wouldn't rather do at either one of these. This person is stuck. Like, because they, this is what they want to do. They want to apologize, but they think they may have to walk away from this connection, which they have already done, okay? They've already walked away from you, possibly a long time ago. Yeah, they are stuck. Whatever news this is they don't like they're protecting it for like with everything they've got they're protecting it for dear life okay for real it's really bad whatever they've done they did for money it could be illegal it could send them to jail it could also be something sexual okay Yeah, you could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You're taking your love and you're walking away from them. I feel like your back is already turned. I feel like you've already healed. Um, and you're ready to move on and start a new cycle here. You're very abundant. You're good on your own. You don't need anyone in the energy that you're in. And you're about to be extremely successful. Yeah, I'm getting the sense that, you know, spirit just, uh, yeah, and I was just going to say that spirit, I feel, wants you to cut this person out. And, you know, it's almost like they're, they're riding and they're giving you this sword. Here you go. Here's the sword. Cut this out. End the cycle. This person, they're going to be in and out, in and out energy. They're still planning on what they're going to do, Okay. There's still no communication, and they're thinking about walking away with this no communication. So spirit is kind of like showing you this and moving you forward and bringing you in someone new. Okay, this is a new person. Um, it could start off as just a friendship, but I feel like this is a new person, and um, it's going to turn into a, something passionate very quickly. So, yeah, your um, spirit is telling you to cut this person out. Okay, close out the cycle. They still don't know what to do. They're still too afraid of the karmic. They're still not taking a stand. This person is still in page energy. That's it. They're still coming through as just a page. You know, um, they feel very stuck, and spirit does not want you in stagnancy anymore. Yeah, and they're very emotional about this. Don't think that this person doesn't feel something in, in letting you go. They do. This is somebody who um, they're just, they're too afraid to, they need to protect themselves. They feel like they need to protect themselves more than this connection, okay? And they, and they know if the secret got out to you, you probably wouldn't want them back anyway. It's that disgusting. Okay, they do not want you to know about this, whatever this may be. This could be some kind of illegal scam. It could be something like they could have paid for, you know, they could have paid like a call girl. You know what I mean? They, they are something like that. They could have an STD. I, I kind of get it's It's like a little bit of everything. And they don't want you to hear any of this. They don't. They can't, they can't handle the fact of that. And that's what this karmic is going to do. She's going to, if they make any move towards you, she's going to tell them the truth about, the, about them. Or she's going to tell you the truth about them. If they don't marry her, this karmic's trying to force them to marry her. 
you know, and if they don't do that, she may open up and tell the truth. She may put it, she's threatening to expose them for what they've done. And it's, it's, they're sick over this. They are, but they're, 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 they're trying to make a decision here. Should I go in and apologize because I feel like I, I need to, I, I want to, I want the Empress, right? Or should I walk away? Okay, or should I walk away? And so spirit is like, you know what? We No one's got any more time for this. You're out of time. It's time for a new cycle to start, pal. So they're all up in their emotions and spirits like, you know, sorry, we got to move on. And that's what you're being led to do. So here comes someone new, right? You're about to meet a new, it's either, they're, they're, it's going to come across as a new friend but I feel like it's going to turn into love, okay? So, um, yeah, this is the beginning of your new cycle, and Spirit is making the final judgment call on this. Um, this person is now stuck in a karmic cycle, okay? They're stuck there, and, um, and they're being pressured to marry this person that they can no longer stand. They can't stand her. <laughs> 